as medical providers throughout the country prepare for the expansion of the COVID-19 vaccine to include children ages 5 through 11, many parents are sure to have some questions and concerns. In an effort to provide the most accurate information possible, Mountaintop News recently sat down with Tug Valley pediatrician Dr. Charles Johnson for some additional insight into what this news means for families. Now, recently it was uh, approved by the uh, uh, FDA and CDC for the COVID vaccine for the kids ages uh, 5 to 11. Um, they have been doing studies for uh, quite some time on this age group and they found that they, uh, it is a uh, uh, very good vaccine for these kids with minimal uh, side effects. Uh, I think there was no, uh, through all the studies, there wasn't even uh, one major side effect from the vaccine. As Dr. Johnson explains, the Pfizer vaccine for children is a smaller concentration of the adult version of the vaccine. Well, for the, the kids from uh, ages 5 to 11, it, it is Pfizer. It is a third of the adult dose, okay? And it, it is uh, a two-dose uh, vaccine, which uh, three weeks apart, just like the uh, older kids and the adult. But it is a, uh, a third of the dose of what the adults get. And they found that this dose gives the body a good uh, response and producing antibodies that are very uh, capable of protecting these children against COVID-19. Here at Pikeville Medical Center's Heart and Vascular Institute, we have assembled a comprehensive team of cardiac specialists bringing expertise from all regions of the nation and the world. We have coupled that with cutting edge technology, providing them the best equipment and operating rooms available. The result is comprehensive cardiac care for the people of our region that is second to none. The Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. While no major side effects were observed in children during clinical trials, Dr. Johnson says that the typical side effects commonly associated with vaccines may still appear after inoculation. Yes, um, I mean, from what we have gathered, it's just minimal symptoms sometimes, or maybe some cough, congestion, low-grade fever, and fatigue, which are just transient and just last for short periods of time. Uh, probably just like what a lot of the adults experience. Dr. Johnson also notes that while vaccination is a personal decision, he believes that once they are given the facts, most people will choose to be vaccinated. Well, certainly we are, our practice is recommending the, uh, the COVID-19 uh, vaccine for all the ages that it's been approved for. Um, we will start next week uh, rolling it out here in our clinic. Uh, this is a little different than the others. I think they're mainly wanting this to be distributed through pedi pediatricians' offices if possible because there are going to be a lot of questions. And my uh, suggestion is any uh, parent or family that is a little hesitant or, or uh, is not sure about it is to talk to the pediatrician face-to-face -face and uh, get the facts. And then, you know, uh, I, the way I feel about it, it is a... Uh, uh, individual decision, but uh, I would just like for those individuals to have all the facts uh, that we know at this time. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joshua Sloan.